Hey, welcome back to turn 22 of Concrete Hell, and we might as well actually just stick with this camera angle because really, I can't actually see anything down there. We are kind of focused on this area, but there is stuff still going on up here. So again, it's, it's just kind of waiting, uh, holding on in Charlie, trying to set up the possibility of reinforcing it, and generally uh, waiting for Chap to commit. Hopefully, I'm going to look like he's make him feel like he's. No, I don't actually. I don't like that camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back over here. Um, I'm sure we get that possible contact in there. Uh, I really want to, um, you know, it's just kind of lure him in and then smash him with the RT. Uh, so, you know, that balancing act. But, uh, yep, not expecting anything overly specific this turn. Maybe a bit more firefight down here. But let's press go and see what we get. Oh, Mr. Bradley. Oh, 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 that's an AT-13. And, oh yeah, so uh, we push T-Dog forward. He is getting, probably having a bad time there. But we are getting spots. There's plenty of Chaps infantry in here. And also, some of, yeah, T-Dog's going to get smashed there, I think. And we're getting some fire coming in here. I suspect that... Oh, yeah, and James is getting hit up a bit. Yeah, casualties across the board. Not outrageously surprised. <laughs> it's an AT-4 there. Yeah, that's kind of what we wanted. Just put a missile in the building. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's dive in and see what happened to T-Dog here, so... Let's turn that on. So he gets into the uh, front of the building there, and is immediately engaged. Uh, hard to tell if some of this is area fire or... Yeah, so that's uh, another one immediately. Uh, and they're all instantly suppressed, but, you know, here comes that high motivation. They are kind of hanging on. Yeah, chap has some infantry out in the open. Yeah, so M240 team set up there. That makes sense. We've got a, some kind of sound contact here, so he's probably going to try and breach in. And clear through there. We have more infantry. That's that sniper team. Yes. So I, I don't think that uh, T-Dog has actually achieved anything, and he's also dead. Uh, but again, really want to lure Chap in, and we're going to do that by sacrificing some pixel trapping. Uh, let's just see if that 84 hit actually achieved anything. Uh, maybe a bit of suppression. Uh, there's quite a lot of bodies in there. We've got like three teams. Uh, yeah, so I don't think T-Gog actually achieved anything there at all. I think he just turned up and got shot at. Which, you know, was a risk. Uh, this, incidentally, is exactly why uh, this is not the kind of fight I want to get into with Chap. Simple as. Where is T-Dog? He's over here. There he is. So I think that's just uh, death by 556, five, really. Interestingly, the, uh, the PK, the RPG, and the uh, team leader in there are both still kicking all the way to the end. Oh, the uh, PKM's got a bit injured, but... Yeah, this is why I don't want to engage Chap in a face-to-face -face fight, because... Look, look at the amount of fire that's going out. Uh, uh, what happens to... James's squad, the platoon leader? 
So he kind of joins in, but is also shut down pretty rapidly. Um, yeah, chap's definitely moving up uh, towards... In fact, he's past that. One of the things I did want to do with the mortar barrage is make sure that I get behind him and then I can adjust it in so he's he's kind of uh, getting squeezed between my troops and the... Uh... Yeah, they're getting into a firefight. These guys, is this... No, that's just the random infantry squad, looks like. Infantry team. I was wondering if it might be a HQ unit or something. Yeah, that's another casualty in the other team leader, so... They're getting a bit pasted as well. Yeah, uh, let's just flip back and see what uh, Mr. Abu did with the 84. I think they took some pot shots as, as well. Yeah, that's what you want, your 84 gunner not firing missiles at people. I'm just taking pot shots with an AK instead. So, I mean, it's a pretty good shot, right? Hits the building. Oh, and uh, yep, there went D Company HQ. That was uh, Florida Man getting a... Uh, I suspect a Mark 82 to the face. Yeah. Yep. Fun times. So is that a spotting ram? Sometimes they use smoke for them, or is that a? Hmm. Does does look? I think there was there is a kind of distinct lack of chaps artillery here, or chaps mortars rather, which is interesting. Uh, so yeah, over here, obviously, you want to. Uh, uh, T dog is probably uh, not actually going to do anything there, so we need to pull him back. Uh, and then, yeah, Bark and Carthago is still kind of hanging on. Uh, but, now let's see what else we get up here. So I did want to pop some bodies back up. Um, oh, actually, let's watch this first. So, Simple Wins uh, spots the Bradley. Uh, pretty sure he misses, though. Yeah, let's see that. 80-13 there going all over the place. I just lost the spot there. Uh, let's get back to Alpha. Uh, so these guys, uh, that's Sir Kartoffel and Jacob NO506 uh, were to pop up and see if they could engage anybody. Uh, first thing that happens, obviously, is these guys, I actually forgot about the bodies that Chap has in this building, so they just snipe them out because, of course, they go uh, out onto the balcony. Why wouldn't they? That's just crazy. So that's not a, not a great start, uh, but we can at least get some eyes on who we've got here. So that's, what, maybe three, four guys. Yeah, just a, a rifle team, which which makes sense. That kind of lines up, and then out here we've got there's the some HQ elements moving across here, wasn't there? And an MMG team. I think that's just Chaps Infantry from up here transitioning down to Charlie. Let's 
so it was a bit of a uh, pop up, pop down. And we put some fire out. This is why I wasn't doing this. Uh, oh, we got a casualty there. Uh, I don't think we actually hit anybody there. Also, balconies suck. Oh, no, 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 we got somebody there, didn't we? Okay. That's one. There's my red pen. I don't think we get anybody else. That's an infantry team, definitely. Uh, I don't think we even put any more fire out, to be honest. No, so... Yeah, not ideal there. Did we see something? In, I can't remember if we saw something around here as well. Yeah, so this was, uh, that's uh, Felix just put a little bit of fire into this building. Just to see if Chap's in it, basically. And it's not clear if he is. Yeah, I don't think so. So maybe the mortars have... Um, thrown him off a bit there. Mm, we'll see. And then we had Emmanuel, was it? Yeah. Uh, just moving down to the ground floor here. And a couple more spots and things. Yeah, okay. So yeah, not an amazing turn, but like I said, I want to give. Uh, this is about giving Chap, making Chap uh, sense an opportunity. And there's an interesting one over here. Something has popped smoke. Uh, so I don't know if that's uh, like a striker or something and it's spotted uh, one of the ATGM teams in the back. And it's gone, nope, popped smoke and reversed because it's spotted a threat. Uh, they do that occasionally. Uh, that's going to... I think it's... I, I can't remember actually if it's thermal blocking smoke that the strikers have in, um, in shock force. Not sure there. Uh, if it is, great, because that's going to help blind some of Chap's fire support. And the other item that we were dealing with is that is Horza Ominid uh, mounting up uh, into Justin Davies there. And we'll see, it seems as though the artillery has apparently stopped here. We'll see if we can uh, push them across. Uh, and get ourselves uh, well it's exactly where to go is the interesting one uh, I kind of want to hang around up in this block here uh, but I'm not sure it's not <laughs> it's where, where to where to get out is the issue basically uh, because if we Let's turn that on, that's going to be easy. Uh, so I was originally thinking, you know, we just dash across here, pile into the back of Foxtrot, and from there uh, we can get out through the uh, gaps in the wall. Yeah, there's a gap here. Run across here. Um, I don't know if Chap is down there already, uh, but that's probably the best one. Probably the best way to do it. Uh, so, and where's Otto Finn? Alright, that's cool. Uh, is there anything else that we haven't seen here? No. Cool. Uh, mortars, how long on the mortars? A minute. Probably a, maybe a bit too early, but that's okay. Uh, you guys are in a terrible state, but uh, you could really do with getting back in there. 
I'll try and use the. Uh, Oh, that's not working. Okay. Uh, yeah, just get back inside. We've got a clockwork Rex can see down there, so we can get at least a little bit of cover. Uh, we're gonna trench down here. Let's just go stash Ilya safer down there. Uh, for now, Otto Finn should be here in a. In a while, but we'll get. I tr want to get as many of them as across as possible to start with. You're kind of useless because you used up all your ammo because you're an idiot. You guys are all going back downstairs, that's cool. Uh, yeah, the roof of that building blew and I'd, I'd never noticed that the barrel's inside for some reason. Probably not worth trying to engage at... Uh, 500 plus meters. The RPG can do it. It's just an exercise in, uh, like, I, don't, I really don't think you would actually hit anything. Alright, you guys, let's get you downstairs. Because you just fired a missile. Uh, you guys need to get back in there. You are still okay. How risky would it be to punch f now that the Arty's finished? Can I punch Felix across here and just stash him in a building? Um, what could go wrong, right? Uh, we, th we could at least figure out. Uh, get a little bit of early warning of what chap might be up to over there. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Uh, might be time to reorient on the. Uh, Uh, with the old uh, technicals here as well. Uh, let me get. Uh, McScam here back around this way. Uh, that way I can try and use this fire lane here and I can shoot up that building uh, a bit if necessary. Uh, Atlas can hang around there still and so I can shoot that up if I need to. No, oh, what? You know what might be interesting? What would be, well, super risky? Uh, actually, they bring one of the technicals in close. If I can get them in here, I mean, you know, where the artillery is, sorry, and then just fire bright blindly in, in there, that should do something. Uh, so, yeah, next up we've got Ilya's safer, so we'll tell you to get into Otto Finn there when he rolls up. I think that should work. I 
might be actually time. Let's if we get. Uh, Yeah, I, I'm thinking about put, get, making sure I have some bodies in some of these other objectives, just in case Chap has like managed to sneak a team down here. And I don't think he would, but just in case he just like infiltrate a small team and grab a spot, because he'd get a point for that. Um, so yep, let's uh, let's get that back. 